Happy, happy Tuesday, my loves. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I went to the gym today at noon and did my little workout. My knee started hurting, but I got it in. Am I the only one that go to the gym like three times and you be looking at your stomach like, why you ain't, why you ain't doing, why you ain't going down? Why you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing? <laughs> Am I the only one? I mean, they're like, did I lose it? Did it did it come off? Did, is my face slimmer? I mean, really, you would think honestly. And to fit crew is not an easy workout. I mean, it pushes you. It pushes you past your limit, especially um, somebody like me who hasn't worked out in a while because of my knee and my hip bothering me. And it's like, man, I'm in there. Y'all should have saw me trying to do bear crawls. I mean, I was like wounded bear. Uh, I don't even know if it was a crawl. It was like a wounded bear crawl, skip, hop. Fall to the side, kiss the floor, come back up. I mean, I literally, I, I know there has to be a, a yoga pose or something called wounded bear. It has to, because I was doing it. I know I was doing it. So for all my people out there that are contemplating their workout journey, for those that have started, for those that have been on this journey, I admire you. I salute you. It is not easy. You know, COVID kind of threw a lot of people um, out of whack. Some really took the time to work out. And they're coming out really, really strong. And then, you know, if you were like me and you was like in here eating potato chips and French onion dip and binge watching, you know, TV shows, now we paying for it. So for those that are doing it, I definitely salute you. Keep it up. You know, every little ounce of sweat is progress. At least that's what I want to think. So you guys know how we do this. Get it into the spirit messages. Pick a card between one through six, um, connect with your God, your goddess, your deity that you work with, um, and ask them, what is the message for you? What do you need to hear? Um, for some, it could be one message, could be one card, two, it could be two or three cards. For a few of you, it may actually even be the whole spread, but get in where you fit in. This is a general read. If it doesn't connect with you this week, then don't worry about it because you know we'll be back next week and we'll do some more, some more pulls. So messages for my people, messages, messages. Oh, and this Friday, uh, Chaz Boo Bear and myself will be doing erotic readings on the Friday live. So if you're free, definitely come and join us, you know, ask questions if you want, but we're coming in, we're going to have some fun. If you get easily offended or anything like that, then you might want to just skip out on it, you know, because sometimes, you know, we say some words, or at least I do. Can't talk about Boo Bear, but at least I know I say some words. So, like I said, if you're easily offended, it may be um, the segment that you want to miss. All right, let's see. And I think I'm going to, because I'm going to be using Restream, I'm going to broadcast it on um, Facebook oh, and YouTube. Hold up, you guys. I got to go big for this. Everything hurt. That's all y'all gonna hear. If I gotta bend and search for cards, y'all gonna hear me moaning and groaning. All right, spirit messages for my people. Messages for the people. So I hope if I restream on YouTube, um, that the guidelines are not gonna be too strict. I'm probably gonna have to keep my language right then. Lord have mercy, y'all. They trying to kill me. Hold up. They're obliques, you guys. Spirit is trying to make me continue in exercise, and they know they're wrong for that. Why are y'all doing this to me? All right, there we go. Thank you. At least something that hit the table. Oh, my goodness. Card number two. I think that was card number three energy last week. Messages for the people. Give the people what they want. Thank you, Spirit. All right, two more cards, Spirit. Two more cards for my peeps. Two more cards. What are like, why are all these cards falling on me? One more card, Spirit. Messages, what do they need to hear? All righty. 
We had a few that came out, card number six. So we're going to go ahead and take two. Let me see if anything needs clarification. I think we're good. So let's get into it. Card number one. Card number one, we have word conflict. Now, sometimes when I see this card, this is gossip. Some of you could be dealing with people that um, could be co-workers. They could be family. They could be friends. But you may be butting heads with these people. You may not be seeing eye to eye. You may even be feeling like there's some conflict that's going to be brewing within the midst of this connection with people. So I will say if this is a job situation and conflict and gossip and all that stuff, if you work in an office, if you've ever worked in retail or anything like that, you know that this is normally the norm. I mean, it is what it is. You're going to have people that do not like you. You're going to have people that are going to be jealous. You're going to have people that are envious. This could even be you participating in some type of comp, uh, gossip that causes some type of conflict in the workspace. So I will say card number one, this to me is like choose your battles wisely. If you get caught up in something, you hear somebody talking about you, you got to pick and choose. Do you want to go to H&R? Do you want to uh, go ahead and um, address it yourself, which might not be the best thing? Um, or do you even, I mean, is it even worth your energy? For some of you, this could be just pettiness. Um, this could also be people on social media. Maybe you are arguing in posts or you're going head to head with people in posts. They don't like you. You don't like them. My suggestion would be unfriend. We got a lot of people that keep people on their um, their timelines because they just want to see what they're doing, but they irritate them. So if you're dealing with this energy for a few of you, you might want to go ahead and disconnect from it. Some of you may even be finding yourself taking a break from social media because of gossip and conflict that's coming on. Um, I will say the energy feels really, really petty to me. It feels like he said, she said. So for a few, you may be dealing with this thing of hearing something secondhand and feeling like, okay, do I want to address it? Should I address it? For some, even though I don't get spell work card, I feel like a few of you could be dealing with um, a group of people that may be some kind of way coming against you, whether this is just sending evil eye energy or people actually trying to do some type of spell work could be dealing with a coven or a group of people that might be doing some things just because we have some symbols on the skull. Now, I will say for a few of you, you may even have seen this. You may have been uh, shown this in a dream, maybe even in a reading that you may have some um, energy that's coming against you in the spiritual form. I will say definitely do your reversals, do your protection, um, you know, wear your protective jewelry, say your prayers, whatever it is that you do to ward yourself, because some of you may even know a lot of these people that you're dealing with, especially if you're a practitioner. I do feel at the end of the day, a lot of you are going to be walking away from this energy, whether they're blocking you or you're blocking them, or you're just choosing not to participate in it. If you are a part of this gossip thing, I will say be really careful because I kind of feel like if you get involved with this and you think you're in the click, some kind of way things may turn on you. And that normally is the way it it goes. When you got a lot of people that are talking about one person next week, next month, you might be the person on center stage where they're putting your business out there. So I will say, be careful. If this is a group that you're dealing with and y'all having fun and games and y'all talking about people and you're spreading some stuff around, you need to watch your back. Because some of these people, there's no loyalty, period. There's no loyalty to you. There's no loyalty to anyone. They're having a good time doing this. And some of, some of these people want to destroy. So like I said, be real careful with your group, with the energy that you're dealing with, card number one. Card number two, we have a temptation and we have a possible hookup. Now, whenever I do readings, relationship readings, love readings or whatever, you always see maybe, you know, okay, there's going to be somebody else that they're going to meet, you know, possibly a temptation that comes in. This could be, you know, walking from Walmart and somebody goes, hey, beautiful, you look good today. Or you might, you know, see a guy and be like, oh, your cologne smells really good. You know, this could be a compliment that needs to be given and you just keep on moving. For a few of you, though, you may decide to take it to give me your number, give me your social media. Then all of a sudden we're taking it to conversation. Now, for some people, conversation is cheating. If you're in a relationship and your spouse or your partner does not know that you're having a conversation with somebody else, especially if it gets to the point of sexting or the conversation gets very inappropriate, some of you may be considered as um, stepping out on your partner. 
with the temptation. For a few of you, you're going to take it beyond conversation because we got the passion card. You know, I saw you. I gave you the compliment. We kind of talked a little bit. You sent me a couple of little pictures. I sent you a couple of little pictures. We like what we saw. Now we want to go ahead and get to the next phase of it, which is, you know, let's get some booty. So I will say card number two, you may have something that's coming across your path that you are going to be attracted to. That's why it's a temptation. If it, if you weren't attracted to it, if it didn't catch your eye, this wouldn't even be here. So I will say y'all as grown people, y'all know what to do with y'all cootie coo and your wooty woo and put it wherever you want to put it. If you have a wife, if you have a particular person that you're living with, if you're in a relationship, you might get God. Temptations come in and sometimes they tear some shit up. You might think it's fun and games until something else gets passed along. You know, whether this is diseases, pregnancies, or this shit just comes to the surface. So I will say if you are single and you're out there mingling, this might not be so bad for your energy. It looks like you might be having some fun, flirtation, uh, maybe getting a little intimate time with this person. If you are in a relationship and you take it to the next level, you know, may the Lord be with you. That's all I'm going to say about that. Card number three. Card number three, we got some illness coming in. Some of you may be having some issues where you're changing your diet. You could be having some digestive stuff. There could be some constipation. I'm definitely getting some bloating in the stomach. Um, for a few of you, this could even be um, a hernia. But I'm getting something where it is definitely connecting with lower body. You may be having some issues with your stomach, with your hips, with your knees, with your ankles. Um, a few of you, this could be some type of food allergy. Some, it may actually be a cold or a viral infection. I am not a doctor, so if you start to feel bad, then you need to go ahead and get checked out. You know, if it gets to the point where over-the-counter medicine is not helping you and you've tried, then you need to go ahead and, you know, look a little bit further into it. I do get something with colon and I feel like blockages, but this could literally be you need a good cleanse or you need an enema. Um, for some, I don't see the diet card on here, so it may not be so much that this is a food allergy or reaction to food, but you may be sick that you can't hold anything down or it may be um, food, maybe certain things that you're eating may be too heavy for your stomach because you got some other issues that are going on. Now, for a few of you, like I said, I'm not a doctor, so if you do have these issues, go ahead and get it checked out. For some, Spirit is saying something about eating cleaner. Um, if you eat a lot of processed food and, and, and it seems to be kind of backfiring on you, I feel like some of you are going to be looking into more of a holistic or healthier way to eat. This could be a lot, of, a lot more greens or something to get your system to, um, you know, move forward. Um, I get sluggish, sluggish system. So could be too that maybe you were sick and you were on some type of medication and it could be causing your, your digestive system to kind of move a little bit slow. Um, if you've had any type of surgery, sometimes it takes a little while for things to kind of, you know, come back to normal. Um, I do feel like whatever it is, that there's recovery with it. So for some, I feel like if there's a cleansing or eating or, or you're changing something for the better and you're flushing your system, if you're detoxing, you're going to, you're going to feel a little bit better. I feel like that may be the simple version of it. Now, like I said, if you're having some type of pains, if you are having blockages and you've been constipated for more than, you know, two days, I mean, for a lot of people, it just depends. If you're regular and you can't go, you got a problem. Um, I forgot one time, I was young too. And I remember, I can't remember what friend, I think it, has, it was with my mom and her bowels backed up because she had an obstruction. Not saying that this is going to happen, you guys, but it just all of a sudden took me back because I remember everything came out the other way. Everything came out through her mouth and I was like, oh, what the hell? But it was one of those things where she ignored the, the, the signs of it, probably was thinking it was indigestion or something like that. So I don't know. Maybe this is something that one of y'all may have to look into just because the story out of nowhere, I think I was probably nine years old when that happened, came out. So I will say if you are having issues with digestive, lower body pains, go get checked out. All right. I know that was like gross. It was like TMI. You didn't have to share that. I know I didn't, but I did. All right. Card number four. 
card number four, we got fake friends. Smile in your face. Um, those backstabbers. Some of you could be dealing with people that are like, you know, we're cool. We're going to be cool. Everything is cool. And then it ain't cool. This could be somebody that could be talking about you behind your back. This could be somebody that presents themselves one way and um, they change up. They switch it up on you. You know, we've all come across these people. At some point, we've been these people. You know, we're cool. We're cool. I like you. I'm cordial. I don't really like you. You know, I'm just trying to be nice in, in front of the company. Some of y'all we've had, we play both sides of this. We got to be honest with ourselves. But for a few of you, you need to be really realistic about what your connection is with this person. Is this someone that you are telling your secrets to? Is this someone that you're building some type of foundation with? Is this someone that you're doing business with? Whatever the connection is, you may need to look at your circle and figure out, you know, are they moving in the same direction I'm moving? Are we moving together? Do I have any intuition that maybe they're not on, on my side? Um, we see this a lot too in relationships. I swear to God, this week, um, there was a lot of readings where these women were like, well, this he wasn't like that at the beginning. He wasn't like that at the beginning. Yeah, he was. He was. He put on a fake face because he had to get you, you know? Same thing like women come in with the eyelashes and the colored contact lenses and, you know, they plump up their lips and they get the body uh, girdles or shape shapewear, whatever we call it nowadays. And it's because we're trying to present the best version of ourselves. And then when all that shit has to come off, people be feeling like you faked the funk. You faked the funk. This wasn't what I signed up for. So we've all done this. So some of you, you may be looking at someone and seeing the real person and feeling like, man, that's not what I signed up for, or that's not how they presented themselves. Spirit could be showing you some things about someone that you really need to see. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. I mean, if a woman has to take her eyelashes off, I don't feel like that's a major change, but for some people it may be, um, you know, makeup. So I feel like if you're dealing with this energy, this could either be, it's general, somebody looking at you and feeling like, you know, you're not being completely honest with me or you're not presenting yourself the right way. Anytime I see fake friends, though, this is a, a, a warning to kind of watch your back. Watch your back. You may be having some people that really are working against you. They might be smiling in your face and everything is cool. But like I said, it's not. So if you get that inkling or that feeling or that vibe, that you're dealing with somebody and they're not really giving you the support that you need or there's some inconsistency or you're hearing some things about what this person is saying and you need to go ahead and look at this friend a little bit more closely because they may not be a, a friend at all to you, all right? Now, we got number five. We got love triangle. We got cheating. Some of you could be dealing with this energy. It's right on top of this interesting right could have been a relationship where somebody was like all right everything is going good you know i love you you love me and then all of a sudden the temptation comes in and somebody decides to like i say take it to that next step i don't want to just have the compliments anymore now i want to have conversation with you now that I like the conversation, I want to get a little bit more physical with you. So a few of you may be finding this out. Um, for some, you might even be finding out that your partner, your spouse, or your homie is doing somebody that is close to you, a friend, a sister, and Lord have mercy. I hope not. We're not trying to do no telenovela over here. But if it happens, some of you may need to see what this is. Now, I do feel that for a few of you, something may be coming out. It may be coming out. With this card next to it, we got somebody taking off a mask, which means that either somebody's going to be seeing something clearly or somebody's going to slip up, possibly do something where you're going to catch it. Pay attention to conversations. Pay attention to, you know, how your person is dressing. If you got a man or a woman that walks around with holy underwear and all of a sudden they're at Victoria's Secret buying a new underwear, they got somebody new. If you got somebody that they ain't worked out and I don't know God when, and now all of a sudden they in there trying to sweat and they sweat suit and they in there eating pieces of lettuce. They may have somebody. They may be trying to get it together for someone. I will say um, for a few of you that are doing this, this could be a general read. You may actually have a partner or somebody who's looking at you. Like what the hell is going on with them? They're not the same person. 
they're switching some things up so for a few of you if you are the one that's out there you know partaking in this temptation you might want to be a little bit careful because you may have somebody that's kind of trying to figure out what's going on with you. You're cutting your hair differently. You're wearing your makeup. You never wore that kind of lipstick before. I never smelled that perfume. They could be trying to check you out. Now, you might have to deal with this energy. I feel like there's something definitely that's going to come to a head. Um, you know, get your story right. That's all I got to say. Same thing with this one. Get your story right. Because you might be dealing with somebody that sees something the way they need to see it. Or you could have somebody that is um, causing problems. Could have a fake friend or somebody who's coming in, doesn't want to see this relationship working. So they start to cause problems in it. And I had a reading with a young lady uh, this week that went through that. Her best friend and somebody and her boyfriend hooked up and it devastated her. So you may, and a best friend didn't care. She did it to break them up. Not because she wanted the guy, she just wanted to break them up. Some of you might be dealing with that energy. And that's that's why we have the ID channel. That's why you see all these people on here killing each other. You know, I thought you loved me. You know, and now I see you doing this. Now I got to kill you. And I didn't want to kill you. I wanted to love you forever. But you put me to that point. You took me to the edge. And now I don't have any choice, but I got to take you out. And that must be a horrible feeling. I can see where you get there. I really can. I can see where I probably have been there. Yeah, no, no, probably to it. I have been there, but I don't look right in orange jumpsuits. I mean, we got to be honest with ourselves. If I'm going to be put away somewhere, orange is really not my color. So you got to be smart about these things. If you are caught up in this energy, it's not worth it to hurt someone. It's really not. I think the thing about it is that's where we come with the crime of passion, where somebody loves and believes in somebody so much that when something like this happens, it literally causes them to flip because they cannot imagine that someone would hurt them so devastate them so badly. So if you are caught up in this and you're the person that's being cheated on, they're not worth it. They're not worth it. You got other people up there. There's thousands, millions of people waiting to meet you. Don't mess around and do something that you may regret. Card number five, card number six, card number six, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. The strength card is showing that you've gone through some things you push yourself, you may still be struggling, but it shows that you have some money coming in or some opportunity. Now, this could be stimulus number three. This could be a tax refund. You may be getting some good news about an inheritance or a job, but I feel like that there's some type of monetary um, refund or reward, reward, thank you, Spirit, that is coming to you after a struggle. A few of you may have felt like I'm not going to get there. This is not working for me. And then you're realizing that something definitely is opening up in your favor. I will say be smart with your money because I feel with this that even with the struggle, there's a lot of things that still need to be done, which means like sometimes we get the stimulus, we get these checks and they're already spent. You know, we got to pay this bill or we got to put this together because the money is already spent. So for a few of you, watch your budget. You have some money coming in. Definitely pay what you need to pay. Put some to the side for a rainy day because you may have some unexpected expenses that are going to be coming in. If you feel like that you're not going to make it to this finish line with money, it looks like you will. It's going to take a lot out of you, card number six. But the strength card, the line is showing, look at his face. Let me get him in there. I'm not going to stop. I'm focused on what I need to do. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to push through until I get this payday that's coming to me. So for a few of you, you got something that's building up and it could be the energy that you put into something where you're finally getting some type of payback from it, a reward. I feel like spirit is looking out for you. It may cause you to put a little push into it. Like you may be coming to that end of the line where it's like, I don't know if I have anything else in me, but you do because this person is not stopping. This person is like, I got to focus. I got to focus on my goal and I got to push it through. And it looks like that you got something really good that helps you. And it's going to be waiting for you at the finish line, card number six. So, you guys, I wish you the best. I'm trying to think if I have anything else to say. I'm probably, because I need to do some cleaning up today, I was going to start on the April monthlies. But I'm going to put it off, I think, for a week and then start pushing them out. So, they will be coming in um, soon. So, definitely look out for them. But 
I think that is it. I don't think I have anything else to give you, my loves. So please be safe. Wear your mask. Disinfect. Take care of yourself. Bye.